Hello, hello, hello. I know I was going to stream today, but here's what's going on. I uh, stayed up all night last night working on my story. It is what it is. I get too excited about stuff and I stay up all night. So um, I'm streaming tomorrow and the rest of the week. And today we're just going to do a quick little video. Because you know what? It's Eastern time. And according to my time, Kill Tony, my favorite show, is almost on. So we're playing like two matches. It is what it is. We're just playing like two. Fix sound real quick. I think that's a little loud. Bat, bat, bat. Let's bring it down to like... Yeah, four. That's a good number. Okay. Um, That's an okay-ish hand. No Monastery Swift Spear. Six out of ten. No one turn drop. I don't like that. I'm probably... Let's see... I kind of want to play my Brazen, right? Because I doubt I'm going to pull a land. And Brazen will give me kind of like a, an extra land effect whenever he attacks. I want that three mana to cast this guy, Godric. So let's see what happens. There we go. So ideally, ideally, I pull a land. I don't mind having lots of him. Okay, lane that enchantment says, Petrify, two mana, enchant creature. Enchanted permanent cannot attack our block. Oh, lame, okay. So let's play another one. Let's see if he has another Petrify for my other brazen collector here. Boros, huh? Red and white. Red and white's pretty damn good. He really doesn't have, like, much of a set here, though, so he might have, like, an awful hand. I wonder what's going on. I'm not going to believe this is reality in, until I see him play his cards. Because turn three for Boros, he should be playing with fire here already. All right, untap this thing. Okay, it always untaps or something. Okay, it's not a very interesting card. It kind of has, like, a ghetto vigilance. Vigilance means, um, if you... It doesn't tap. I'm so tired. Okay, 3-3 three, three haste. And they can block. But do I care? We'll attack with 3-3. Three, three. We do it just to do it. And see what they do. Oreo. God, we're, we're fighting here tooth and nail and gold rank, everybody. This is the most incredible thing in the world. I'm serious. Gold rank is where it's at, dude. Because Platinum is where I belong, so I desperately want to get out of gold. So I'm motivated. Okay, when this thing enters, discover three. It looks like it gives one, one, and trample. Nice, ooh. Three, five. No blocks. Have at her. Vigilance. That's right. Vigilance. It doesn't tap. Tap it, it tap it, it tap it, it tap. That thing doesn't tap. You can't tap it. It's untappable. You can't tap what's untappable. Mm. I'm going to turn him into a dragon next turn if he doesn't do anything about this. And he might not do anything about that because this, this card right here that I can play for free, he's going to want to keep his resources open for that. Hitting me for another three vigilance would be pretty annoying, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I think I'll just take the damage. I could double block my creatures and lose them both and trade, but I don't think I'm interested in that. Well, maybe. You know what? Let's consider that. Because Boros plays generally pretty creature heavy, but I know I'm creature heavy. So I might... You know what I mean? Doing a trade here is actually, like, not like the worst thing in the world. You know? I mean, he'll kill Godric. And I want Godric to trigger, like, next turn. You know, that's my thing. Play Fugitive Codebreaker, and then Slick Shot. And have one mana. Yeah, we'll just take the damage. Oh, but they're all their mana's open, you know? I shouldn't have... Maybe I should have blocked. I'm so tired. I'm just going to blame being tired. Brazen Blade Master, 3 for a 2-3. Whenever Brazen Blade Master attacks, while you control two or more artifacts, it gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. Neato.
Heck yeah, we get a land. Okay, he has one mana untapped. I'm not, I don't think I'm scared of that. I'm not. I'm not going to let myself be scared of one mana untapped. Not at all. Okay, two mana. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want the prowess to trigger, but I could dump my whole hand too. See, here's the thing. There's a little trick with this guy. We can draw me a whole new hand, kind of. Now let's... I'm being too indecisive here. This is in the bag, man. There's no way I lose. I'm invincible. So he's got two blockers on the ground. I don't really want to fuck with him on the ground, then. Let's get him up in the sky. Kaka! Let's hit that dickhead for 10 in the sky. Activate ability. What's his ability? Oh, he's a dragon pump! Activate his ability. Pump it. Yes! I forgot he has dragon pump. Dragons have, like, whenever you pay one mana, dragons get, uh, plus one attack power. So I just gave him plus one attack power, because he's a dragon right now. Amazing! How the turntables, Mr. Boros player. How the turn... tables. Okay, looking at this, I mean, he can do, like, five to me. Probably twice and buff him up. He can probably hit me two times. If I don't block, he can probably kill me in two turns, but I have I have ample blockers. I think he has to worry about blocking. Okay, there's his artifacts, so he's gonna get an artifact trigger. Yep, there's his artifact trigger. Um, you know what? Am I really gonna take all that damage and then just, like, use shock to get around stuff? Because this is gonna, like, untap, man. It's pretty annoying. Yeah, let's take it. Let's see what he does. Let's take it, man. Okay, let's get some blocking trash out there. Come on, man. You can't do nothing about that. No need to pretend. No need to pretend. I'm just gonna shock his face for two points of damage. I know my flyer is going to get through. So I know I'm going to hit him for this four. Right now he has three blockers. Right? Something's going to something's going to get through and do lethal. Just I'm going to attack with everything. That'll leave me with two blockers. That's living on the edge, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to bring him down to 3. And man, nothing else has menace, so I think he can just block everything. And so he's probably going to get rid of those two artifacts. He'll block with his 3-5 white creature, and that his creature will live. Oh, and he gained three life. Nice, that was smart. So he's going to get rid of those two artifact creatures, and next turn he's going to attack me with that 3-5 white trample right here, and this red creature. That's what he's going to attack me with. Make up your mind, man. Come on. I'm pretty sure I lose this game. He's thinking. It's a big decision. Oh, he's cocky. He's gonna let two through? You willy-nilly dickhead. There's no way you'll let two creatures through. I wish I had another card in my hand. The mockery to do that to a red player. No way the balls on you. Okay, doesn't matter to me. He did let an extra one through. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, if he can buff him up, you know, I don't know how I can stop lethal damage. I've only got two toughness in blocking. And he can hit me for, you know what I mean? He can hit me for three right now if I... Oh, no, he can hit me for four right now. I can only block with one creature. I can't do math. This thing can't block. I only have one creature to block with. I'm stupid. Oh, the plot thickens. And he fucked up again! Why would you fuck up like this? Why would you do this and you tapped out in his mana? He lost the game just then. He had this game. Why did he not just take what was his? He could have just... He could have just made me his bitch right there. That was the game. 
GG, man. He must have overthought that. Hell yeah. I didn't think I'd win that. Well, that, folks, was actually a pretty good game of Magic the Gathering. And now I'm all excited for Kill Tony. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm inconsistent. Thank you for watching my video, and good night.